Hey! Welcome back to Colton Screencasts. I'm your host, Mr. Dollins. In part four of this four-part series, we will look at how to manage student assignments in the new look Springboard Digital. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get started! Perhaps the most exciting part of Springboard's recent updates is its connection to Google Classroom. That's right, you can now add your assignments from Springboard directly into Google Classroom, and it's a really simple process. As long as you are familiar with Google Classroom, this won't be much of a stretch for you. If you are not familiar with using Google's learning platform, check out my video on that. I've linked to it in the description. Once you've logged into Springboard, as always, select your class and textbook. You want to make sure you are connecting with the right group of students. Once you're in the ebook, go to the table of contents and find the activity you wish to assign. For this assignment, I'm having the students work with 1.3, talking about voice. This is an introductory activity in the unit requiring students to consider how the way we use language defines our voice, allowing readers to make inferences about our personality, background, or culture. When I'm ready to assign, all I need to do is click on the Share to Google Classroom icon up here in the right-hand corner of the screen. That will open a pop-up window for me to determine the assignment details. Let me expand this window so you can see the next steps. The first step in creating the assignment is to determine which part of the activity you want to assign. You can either assign the entire activity or specific parts of it. I only want students to engage here with the creating voice section of the activity, so I'll select that, then click next. That brings us to the share to classroom screen. Find the class you want, choose your action, and click go. You can always add the assignment to multiple classes once you get to the assignment details screen. Once you reach the assignment details page, you'll go through the usual process of adding titles, instructions, assigning to multiple groups, selecting topics, and determining due dates and values. Always double check your work to make sure you've got everything exactly right. All that's left from there is to click assign and the assignment will post immediately in your classroom. Now, you're probably wondering what the student experience is like. Using Springboard Digital will require just as much training for them as it does for you. They should be starting in ClassLink, where all their apps live. Before accessing anything Springboard related through the Google Classroom, have them first open their Springboard Digital account using the Springboard icon. This will require they give their requisite permissions. If they don't do this first, they won't be able to access the assignments through Google Classroom. Once they open Springboard the first time, however, they will have no problem getting into it via Classroom in the future. Once the kids have authorized their access to Springboard Digital, they can open your assignment in Google Classroom. This will take them right to the activity you assigned. From there, they use the textbook tools shared in Part 2 to interact with and respond to the activity. The only thing they need to submit is, after they are finished, they just need to click Mark is Done. After the assignment is turned in, you can go back into Springboard to review the student's work. To do this, you need to go into the activity you assigned, then click on the class copy icon. This will push out a menu. Select the class you want from the drop down menu, then click on the student to view their work. You will see their name appear here in the yellow box right above the activity title. Once you see that, you know you're reading their assignment. While this is very helpful to assign and review student work, the grading component is easily the most frustrating. Springboard does not have a means to grade student work, and Google Classroom is not linked to any external grading platforms like Q. This means that after reviewing the assignment, you would need to set up an assignment in your gradebook just as you would any activity submitted via hard copy. If only everything were integrated. We can all dream, right? And that wraps up this four-part series. We've had the chance to look at everything from the basic features of Springboard Digital to using the ebook to checking out how to access its library of resources and assessments to assigning and reviewing student work. It has been a fun journey. Maybe now we can finally see the light of day as all of this digital learning becomes normal and routine. Thank you very much for putting up with my shenanigans during this series. If you like what you're seeing, please click the subscribe button. Also, please drop in some comments and suggestions for future videos. I appreciate the feedback. I've got some more tutorials and professional supports on the way. So until next time, this is Mr. Dollins. Thanks for watching.